When it comes to airsoft optics, almost every single player has his or her own favorite. Some prefer scopes with large magnification, while others like simple red dots or even iron sights more. In this video I'd like to present to you a very special optic, which you won't find on many fields out there. I'm talking about the Steiner S432 battle sight. To be more specific, it's China made replica. As the real steel version of this piece comes in for around 1000 bucks, it's not so much suitable for the average airsoft player. This replica, on the other hand, can be purchased for less than 200 bucks. It gives you many of the advantages the original has too. When you unpack the S432 for the first time, it's possible that the dealer puts some stickers on the Steiner label to prevent import issues. But up to this day I've never seen a scope of this kind that came without the original brandings, so just peel off the stickers and enjoy the original markings. What you will notice first when holding the Steiner scope in your hands is its size. While 13 cm long and about 7 cm wide, it brings you a lens diameter of 32 mm, which is one of the key features of this replica. With its weight of about 640 grams, it's clearly on the heavy side for its dimensions though. To adjust your reticle, you simply remove the two screwed on covers and turn the two free knobs in the desired direction. The covers are held in place by a thin but solid piece of cord, which I found very practical. The optic comes with two flip-up covers, which can be dismounted if not needed. Especially the front one, which is attached to one of the four M-Lock rails, can also be used as an effective BB protection, while not affecting your view dramatically. Let's focus on the largest advantage of the S432, which is the huge field of view. I think in this case the pictures explain more than any words could, but I also can tell you about my personal experience with the optic. I found that the large field of view gave me way faster reaction time when finding my opponents while aiming. Compared to a 4x ACOG or even LPVOs on 4x magnification, you simply see more on your lens, so to speak. To give you an idea of the size of this scope, I placed my Vict Optics S6 LPVO next to the Steiner replica. You can see it just gives you a way larger image than the LPVO does, while both Eye Relief and Eye Box are similar on both optics from my point of view. The Steiner comes with a simple but useful reticle, which does not take too much of your field of vision while still allowing precise aiming. The largest disappointment of this replica is the illumination. While the overall impression of the S432 seems to be sturdy and high quality, the wet light only illumination completely sucks. I've never seen such a bad solution, even on cheap ACOGs for 30 bucks. The higher you turn the light intensity, the more blurry and reddish your entire view becomes. When I used this optic in game, I did not use the illumination feature at all, because it's simply not worth it. But at some point the Chinese manufacturer had to save some money to bring us this piece at a reasonable price. Now you know which point it was. Mounting the S432 to your airsoft gun is simple, but we do not have a quick detach system here. You just open the two screws on the bottom, place the optic on your 21mm whale and close the screws again with the included allen key. Of course, when looking for a new optic for your rifle, the looks themselves also make a lot to your decision. At least this is the case for me, so to share you my very personal opinion, the S432 just looks wide for me on a typical AR-15 with a 13 inch rail in this case. It is present, not too bulky and fits the overall modern design properly. I think the Steiner replica is also available in different color options, but as I own just the black one, I cannot tell more about those of course. After all, I would recommend the Steiner S432 to every airsoft player who likes exotic replicas and wants to stay out of the average gear range a little. The enormous field of view is a major advantage of this class. So if you're willing to accept the terrible illumination features, this S432 might just be right for you. You want to see the Steiner S432 Optics replica in action? I made a gameplay video while using it in the end of last year. You find the link right here on the end card. See you over there if you want. So long, have a good one.